Hello, uh, welcome to my 3D Amuser channel. Um, so this video series is going to be uh, called Sci-Fi Prop. So we're going to do a project doing a Sci-Fi Prop proper object. So you can call it whichever you want. Hello, uh, welcome to my 3D Amuser channel. Um, so you guys checked my last project called Creature Blue. Uh, today I'm gonna start a new project called sci-fi prop. So we're gonna do a sci-fi prop or an object um, I'm really interested in doing something like a grenade or like a barrel But I will go through um, I think I'm focusing more on grenade because I like grenades So we're gonna be doing modeling texturing uh, shading and concepting um, I'm not sure I'm going to be doing the shading in Maya or Keyshot or um, Substance. Uh, let's see, you know, what I could do. Uh, maybe I could uh, split into three parts. You know, one we can do in Maya, one we can do in Substance, and one we can do in Keyshot. And before, let's get started. Oh, uh, Stranger Things. I love it. Uh, okay, so here is my Maya 2017. So what we're going to do in this tutorial, in this video tutorial, is we're going to do do base modeling so when I say base modeling is uh, we're gonna block the shapes and we can go from there and it's always to add, add it's always good to have uh, add details at the end not at the beginning the one thing I learned in modeling is uh, forms are more important and once you have the shape and you could go and uh, add like ton 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 share of details on it um, it look amazing uh, to get started what I'm gonna do um, I, I don't know the proportions of a grenade so what I what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna grab a, a grenade image plane uh, there are some people who are against image planes but I'm not ashamed of it because why not because I want to get the shapes you know as close as possible as you see here uh, these are some of the shapes of the grenade from olden days so I'm gonna be focusing on something like cylinder um, I kind of like it so I'm just gonna go with it um, I'm also not doing anything in measurements as well so sometimes if you're doing productions they do measurements usually it's on scale uh, for for a new user who doesn't know how to change the uh, measurements you can go to preferences and you go to uh, settings and here it is so you could do anything like meters and as soon as you change it the grid changes as well so you can change the foot as well but we're gonna do in centimeters that's a default so i'm gonna go with that um so what i'm gonna do i'm going to add my image plane in a layer and i'm gonna call image a plane and i'm gonna say uh, before I'm gonna do an alpha gain so it's really transparent or oh, it's alpha gain so it's gonna say for one four so it's really transparent and transparent we could see everything uh, so now what you could do is you could grab a cylinder so if you don't know anything about Maya if you if you want to learn um, how to use the basic interface and how to start with modeling um, I will have a link in my in this in the video description so you guys can go and check it out. So what I'm I'm trying to do is I'm gonna try to snap this on my grid for some reason it's not working. So but so I'm gonna eyeball it. Um, I'm gonna pull this all the way there so it ends there. But let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, so there you go. So that's a uh, like a proportion. Uh, you could also add add some cubes. So I'm just adding a cube uh, to say uh, this is how it's made. Uh, this is just blocking guys. I'm not worried about anything. This is going to be a cypher prop. So I'm going to change as I go. Um, I'm not worried about you know, how it's going to look and everything. Now let's go and hide this. So now see in matter of second we got some kind of shape and we could uh, model it from here. Um, you could play with the shapes. 
and I'm going to using some uh, design theory. I'm not really good at designing. I'm just being honest about it. But I have learned something on my past uh, through going through a lot of tutorials of Scott Robertson. There is another artist uh, called Anthony Jones. Uh, if you want, if you guys want to learn about it, uh, go and check those tutorials. Uh, they have like good designing uh, sense or else watch a lot of uh, see a lot of uh, visual uh, images that will help you to improve your visual library as well uh, there are a lot of tumblr groups you guys can go and see so what I'm gonna do uh, this is my base I'm gonna call it base I'm gonna say great and uh, let's uh, start doing something amazing guys uh, let's do that um, so let's see um, I always split my measures into three. Uh, that's called. Um, so let's have a base, and I'm gonna have a copy just in case. Um, it's always. Uh, I'm gonna uh, split my mesh into three parts, and I'm gonna scale a little bit like that. So there is something called um, in designing. It's called. Um, uh, I think it's ratio of threes or something. So I'm going to turn off my wireframe so you can see. Whenever you split something, split in uh, in this distance, this distances. Uh, so that will make visually pleasing and it will make your model really good. Um, let's see. You know, let's come up with some shapes. Um, let's make our uh, bottom go in so it sits somewhere uh, so we have the top so let's what you could do is we could make the top a little bit like that um, you know what let's make it a little bit fatter too so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change my float point at the bottom and I'm gonna scale it As I said, I'm gonna model as I go, so I'm not worried about um, making it super awesome. Uh, if I want to go and change, I could go and change at any point of time. Um, a little bit like that. So I'm selecting everything. Boom. So now we have something to work with. Um, So I'm going to duplicate it again. Just going to have it here. So now what I could do is um, let uh, let let make this like really complex. You know, it kind of looks um, really um, it kind of looks really uh, plain. Uh, let's make a little bit interesting by adding some more details. Uh, what I could do is, um, you know, I could add some kind of rim at the bottom. So I went extrude and I added that. You know, I could bevel this as well. So there you go. Um, if I hit 8, you guys can see it. We added some kind of visual clue. Um, but still, I think it's kind of a little bit big on the top. So what I could do is I'm going to go and delete this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here and select bridge and I'm going to do this now. So there you go. So now we have something kind of like a little, um, it's not a little prominent, but it's there. And let's, uh, so now what I did, I carved in a shape. But I want to make it really subtle. It's not super crazy. So now we can see if I hit 3, um, it's going to go blop because we didn't have the supporting loops. Uh, because we're just, you know, uh, going to be modeling it. So we're not going to add that many details yet. Um, you know what? Let's make the shape even interesting by.
So on the top, I'm gonna have some kind of shape goes in. So there you go. So now it works. Uh, at the bottom, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna delete my uh, faces here. At the bottom, and I'm gonna add some loop and pull it in. So I pay three. It's not that bad yet. So now I'm kind of like adding some loops here and there uh, to make the shape uh, to pop up a little bit, just a little bit. So if I smooth it, now you could see this has a good uh, shape in it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing here as well. So I'm just adding loops. I usually don't do this, but you know what? We have to see the shapes and um, there you go. Like even this one. Boom, there you go. And we could do the same thing here as well. So now let's... Um, Actually, you know what? Let's add some some more details as well. Let's split this part into the other the same way. Um, what we could do is we could create one more shape. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna extract. No, no, no. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna duplicate this. Come back. Go on the top view. One side. So this is like one of the technique I use to um, uh, get like details really fast. So what I do now is um, um, I create some shapes from here. Something that makes sense. Uh, maybe like that. Maybe we could make something Actually, let's make it really perfect. So I'm gonna hit one So it's exactly in the center now what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this So now what you could do you could delete this So now I go on the top view and turning it to 90 degree. So now if you see, you could um, mirror on the other side or you could rotate 90 degree, it's up to you. So now I come in everything and merge the vertices, boom. So now if you see, we got like a good good shape. What I could do is I could extrude it out like that. Really subtle. Boom, there you go. See, uh, that kind of added like a really good uh, details on it. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more interesting. Let's see if that works. So this will add some uh, details in it as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pull this in a little bit. Boom, there you go. So as soon as I put the loops, it will, uh, same thing. So I'm gonna do everything, work on one piece and make that awesome, then mirror it on the other side. Pull that in. So 
So now if you see, it kind of added like this details in there. So now if you add some kind of like the, so now if you see, isn't it pretty cool? Even you can make this a little bit interesting by adding uh, some more details as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do some paneling. You may ask where's the panel and you will see in a minute. So what I, I did there was to um, uh, get rid of the plane, delete some faces and just pull it back in. Um, this will create some kind of like a paneling sci-fi detail. Um, so a little bit in. But I added this detail early. You're supposed to add those details when you subdivide this mesh even further. Um, that will make the shapes really even, uh, because it's easy to control the loops, because I want to retain the cylinder shape because it's gonna follow the, it, it's gonna follow the grenade. So um, I'll show you once I have some subdivisions in this. So now it reads up good. Um, that's what you wanted. So there you go. So even if you see here, um, it can have this problem. This happens when you do stuff in subdivisions um, early on. Like you can see, even there is something happened here. Uh, so this is where a lot of people do a mistake. So the other way to get around this is make a mesh. And have tons of subdivisions in it. So this will be easy to control when you add when you add those kind of details. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, how easy it will be to add details. So now if you see, um, I'm going to show you guys um, how to add uh, details, how to get away with um, the problem I had here because when I smooth this mesh, you could see um, there is this, you know, uh, weird thing happening. I don't want that to happen. So that's why what you have to do is you make details in those kind of mesh. I did this uh, in purpose because I did this mistake when I was doing modeling in, in my early days. So now what you could do, you could go and delete everything you don't want. I'm making sure this shape is right. You know what, let's make this even interesting. So now we have this three. So as I did on the, so what I'm doing is I'm just adding like a triangular shape. To get the details uh, you know what I'm gonna stop here because I'm uh, getting caught up with the uh, details so I don't want to do that uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hide this so I'm gonna continue with this one and I'll show you how to um, go about this one in a second uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna control F and you go to edit duplicate special and a 390 duplicate special. There you go. So you get three copies and merge the vertices and boom. So now we have something like this. Uh, now if you see, it kind of like in a pretty good shape. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, 
I'm just gonna download a bit and boom there you go um, I also think this is really big but let's see you know uh, if it works with other shapes and let's add some details let's block some details in at the bottom as well so I'm gonna extract the faces so wherever are the middle edges so I'm going to duplicate it and so I'm just selecting the faces here um, so I'm gonna delete all of the stuff now what I'm gonna do go extrude in and extrude out so now if you see um, we kind of add a piece to connect here to there you could make it like that actually you could pull it all the way in too if you want so this kind of adds like a, a good details uh, if I turn on the ambient occlusion you could see it so now you could see it uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a pong so we could see some kind of like um, spec um, hovering through it <coughs> excuse me so I'm gonna call it a day today guys because it's 20 minutes so to recap everything today we learned how to basically block stuff in Maya through image plane I just grabbed image plane and got the proportions from it and I modeled from there so I created a base and from that point I created blocked some more details on top of it and I also used duplicates as well as using mirror and uh, duplicate special to create details really faster so we're just playing around with the shapes you know where I could you know make this really cool um, in the next chapter I'm going to try to finish this or the basic modeling then we could start detailing and I can explain what I did and everything um, until then I'll see you in the next one if you guys like this tutorial please like subscribe and comment below if you have any questions regarding this please write me at 3damuser at gmail.com until then I'll see you in the next one bye